If I was to tell you there's such a thing as vegan fried chicken or vegan crab cakes, would you believe me? Splendiferous. Okay? Splendiferous. You should make that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want something crazy. Let's see what I can find. But what if you have jazz fever all year long? Turns out there's a jazz call right in our backyard. Money, money, money. Sir. Money. Sir. Huh. What's going on? I'm gonna need you to get out of the car until you pay for it. I got the win a lotto ticket right here. I'm gonna win. Look like chicken, but does it taste like chicken? You should try it. All right, all right. Oh. I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna catch you. I found a perfect spot in Dinwiddie where you could kick back, relax, and enjoy Mother Nature. The next drawing is tonight at 11, and I'm telling y'all, I have the winning ticket right here. And if I win, he won't see me again. On your side, I'm Terrence Dixon. And I'm on a mission trying to find some of the weirdest hot dogs across RBA. I don't want anything with just simply ketchup and mustard. I want something crazy. Let's see what I can find. And I'm off on my journey. First place on my list, the Dog Wagon Plus. Dude, what's your craziest uh, hot dog? Craziest or prettiest? Craziest, weirdest. Intimidator. Intimidator. Buffalo, go for it. All right, let me get that. What you're looking at is the Intimidator, a half pound, all Angus made as a buffalo dog. You can make it any way you want with as many toppings, but for me, to make it through the day, I got it buffalo style. Deep fried, topped with buffalo sauce, has ranch on it, and it's topped with crunched potato chips. This gets an A plus in my book. Oh, it's my jam. Making my way in a quarter mile. Keep right to merge onto Poo White Parkway. North. Continuing my journey, we arrive at Hogshead Cafe. What's your weirdest hot dog? That would be our big boner. Let me get that. All right, coming right up. This monster is a half pound beef hot dog wrapped in bacon and deep fried, then topped with pool barbecue, then coleslaw, then, if that's not enough, it's topped with ribs. That's a lot of food. <laughs> oh my. What, what do you take a bite in? What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And my final destination of the day is Bocata Latin Grill. What's the craziest hot dog you have? You have the Perro Caliente Venezuelan. Okay, cool. Let me get that. Right, be right up. This Venezuelan hot dog is called Perro Caliente. It's topped with coleslaw, garlic sauce, cilantro, pink sauce, potato sticks, and cheese. Now, of course, I couldn't try all the places in one day, but if you head over to my NBC12 Facebook page, I have a list of places for you to try. On your side, I'm Terrence Dixon. Here at the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Bridge, kids are painting to bring something bright to the Mosby community. The kids come out every morning dedicated, energetic. It's been fun and it's great to see their, um, their enthusiasm when painting. What once was a gray wall that was always covered by graffiti. If the kids come around and they don't have anything positive to look at, they're not going to think a lot positive is now something special. Organizers from Unity Street Project and Pine Camp Recreational partnered for a six week long summer camp where students are learning the art of history by painting a mural of MLK. This is a lot of fun. I'm really glad I chose to do this over my other camps that I could have done. We're pulling out those heroes and sheroes that we could put on the wall so no matter who moved into this area, they will realize that these people were here, they made positive impact. Giving their community something to be proud of. It feels very, very special to be able to, you know, paint a man that has such a big impact on the African American community. Before this, it was, I just kind of learned about him in school and that's all I knew. But when I did this, I learned some history. It's an effort to bring everyone together, no matter the race, or the color. This is a labor of love meant for everybody in our community. This is not only our project, but it's their project. This belongs to everybody. Every day when I get ready to leave, I look at it, I take a few pictures. There's three weeks left until this project is finished, and once it's done, they plan on having a dedication ceremony paying homage to Martin Luther King Jr. On your side, I'm Terrence Dixon. You're all set, dude, I for Cinco, it. man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey 
everyone, Terrence Dixon here. It's that time of year again and Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner. Whether you're looking for a place to celebrate the Mexican victory over France or a place to have a good drink, hence the term drink of the Mayo. Either way, I've got you covered. Follow me as we take a sneak peek at some of the restaurants in Richmond. First stop, Pepe's Mexican restaurant on Melothian. Cinco de Mayo is, uh, in Mexico, it's known as uh, the Battle of Puebla. In the U.S., uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's more considered like a, like a holiday where people go out to a Mexican place and have a drink or have some Mexican food. Often mixed up with the Mexican Independence Day in September, here at Pepe's, they're celebrating Cinco de Mayo a day early with specials starting on Friday. It's our homemade margaritas are, that are on special. We have beer specials as well. This day is also a chance to roll out fresh new recipes only made on Cinco de Mayo. Hey, I'm a Chesterfield. That was the Chesterfield Burrito, one of several meals that will be featured this weekend. Of course, I couldn't walk out without trying it. Discounted food and drink specials aren't the only things on the menu. There's also live entertainment and giveaways. Here we have uh, t-shirts that we give out uh, on those days. We have glasses uh, that people take home. Uh, you know, just, just little things like that, a little, a little bit of swag. Next stop, Lalo's Casino. Wow. Here at Lado's Casino, drink and food specials also start on Friday. Everyone is off and uh, everyone is wanting to have fun, you know, and this is a place to be. And if traditional tequila margaritas is your thing, then this is the perfect place to quench that thirst. Cinco de Mayo is a very happy day for everyone. It is a fun day. With so much good food and drinks to try in Richmond, there's no possible way I can try it all in one day. So I posted a list on our website and on my Facebook page for you to try it for yourself. And there's plenty of food this weekend at the annual K-Pasta Festival happening this Saturday. On your side, I'm Terrence Dixon.